this video will show inelastic collisions and explosions. We're going to start with an inelastic collision with two equal masses. The green block will be at rest, the red block will be moving, they'll collide, they'll stick together and move off in some direction. So let's see how this works. Notice after they collide that they have the same velocity as they should since they're stuck together. Here's our initial conditions. Here's our after the collision conditions. How does momentum behave in this situation? This time the masses are not equal. The red block which is moving has twice as much mass as the stationary green block. They're still going to collide inelastically, which means they're still going to stick together. How do you think this will impact the final speed of the two blocks? Looks like they're moving a little faster than they did in the previous one. All right, here's our initial condition. Here's our after the collision condition. How does the total momentum of the system behave for this situation? For this collision, we have both blocks with equal mass moving in opposite directions with equal velocity when they collide. They're going to be inelastically colliding, so they'll stick together. Let's see what happens. Okay, there's a slight glitch with the program. Notice that the two velocities are equal and they're very, very small. What should these two final velocities be based on our initial conditions? If momentum is going to behave in this collision the way it should behave. There's a small glitch in the software. I've tried several times to make this work correctly and this is the best I can do. So you're going to have to decide what the final velocity should be since they're equal in order for everything to work the way it should. All right, in this example we have equal masses. Both at rest originally. They're going to be exploded apart by a force. Let's see what happens. They're moving equally in opposite directions, probably not unexpected. Now let's see what this would look like if I make the original velocity of each object zero. Okay, let's try that one one more time. Now we have two equal masses at rest. The force is going to spring them apart from each other. Let's see what happens. Again, they move apart with equal velocities as expected. One last example of an explosion. This time we have unequal masses. Again, both objects are initially at rest. When the force springs them apart this time, the green block has half the mass of the red block. So what do you think will happen to the two velocities? Notice that the final velocity of the green block is roughly twice in magnitude the final velocity of the red block and it has half the mass. Why would that be? How does the total momentum behave in this situation? Here are our initial conditions. Here are our final conditions.